excellent evening everyone excellent evening to every one of us we are highly welcome to this evening's broadcast welcome welcome we are back to base you can see my backdrop <laughs> that tells you that we are back to base oh wow i traveled back from portacourt this evening and i'm at home 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 sweet home sweet home we are all welcome to this evening's broadcast welcome welcome to everyone of us how have you been and happy new week happy new week to everyone of us happy new week i hope our week is going on fine first day of the week and the last week of april wow the year is moving fast i tell you what the year is really really moving fast i don't know about you but i can't you know i just looked at today and i'm like wow fourth month almost gone in 2022 <laughs> yeah 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 hello favor endurance you're welcome welcome to this evening's broadcast welcome welcome to every one of us i'll try to to share 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 and then we get going today and then we get going today um you're welcome 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 so kindly share 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 out also with me today so that we can have a good time hello Ezimwa Ugo you're welcome welcome to this evening's broadcast this evening we are going to be looking at a very interesting topic okay <laughs> very very interesting topic and we're going to be answering that question that we asked ourselves is menopause hereditary will you have your mom's menopausal methods symptoms you know um, yeah and all that so that's what we're going to be asking today hello for madera you're welcome welcome to this evening's broadcast you're highly welcome welcome so let's kindly share out share out um as we go live now i'm trying to share 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 out to some of the pages so that people can join us so kindly help me and also share out to the pages you belong this is also important and you know it's not just about middle age this is also for teenagers you know is the knowledge they need it's also for young adults they need to know this thing so that they can prepare ahead of time because you know there's something about knowledge there's something about getting ready there's something about knowing what you're going through there's something about knowing what to do early enough concerning it so these are all the things we're going to be looking at today and also relating them in answering that question on <coughs> will i have my mother's menopause excuse me hello pastor is online with us today hello you're welcome 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 to this evening's broadcast pastor lee ori is one of my colleagues you're welcome welcome thank you for joining us and we're looking at this also important topic today you know we're going to be answering also important topic today that is needed by everyone and i mean everyone <laughs> everyone needs it too so share 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 out and when you enter you can greet so i can greet you this evening all right so i can greet you this evening and welcome you to this evening's broadcast okay Hope this phone will be here so I'll be able to see everybody in good time and um, greet everyone that has joined us live in good time also. All right, so let me see. Favor and your ass, you're welcome. Welcome, Ezimwa. Welcome, welcome, Mana. Where are you calling you from? Mana, remember, wherever you're calling you from, you can say good evening from Abuja, good evening from Zimbabwe, good evening from UK. All right. OG Taju, you're welcome. Oh, Favor, it's already saying, Mama, this issue of perimenopause is not an easy one. I think is why I am what's what you're experiencing now. Okay, don't worry. There are ways of overcoming that. Hello, Debra. So you made it. Debra from USA. So you can just be and say where you're calling in from. Hello, Gos Deara from Lagos. You're welcome, welcome, welcome to this evening's broadcast. Wow, from Liberia. Charlotte Banna from Liberia. You're welcome. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the heart. I really appreciate. I really appreciate. As we look at, I look at this also important topic 
that I published and told us that we're going to be looking at today. We're going to be looking at today. Today, we're going to be looking at that topic, also important topic that says, are menopause symptoms hereditary? Are they genetic? Are they something that is passed off from mother to daughter, from grandmom to mom to daughter to your own child? Okay, so you need to find out if you will inherit your mother's menopause today, and if so, what do you do about it? Okay, so you're all welcome. Welcome, Uniso Nine. Welcome, Ejo, for comfort, favor, endurance all the way from UK. You're welcome, welcome all the way from UK. Oh, Nine Okpara, you're welcome. All right, Thomas Kenda said, Good evening, ma'am. I'm very interested in this topic, which is why i am very attentive to learn from sarah Lune. you're welcome from sarah Lune. vivian you're welcome wow 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 i'm also very very interested you know this topic was so so interesting to me some years back that i had to study it and it actually helped me to know how to you know navigate all right so we're all welcome sorry i took a trip and when i'm taking a trip you know right there at the airport in the plane i didn't really take so much water i've not taken my normal quantity of water today so i'm going to be drinking a lot even though it's night but i just have to fulfill my <laughs> water dosage hello Vivia, you're welcome 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 to this evening's broadcast welcome welcome to every one of us you know it's, it's so 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 i'm so glad to have us this evening in the this evening's broadcast so we're going to go into the details now and i'm going to be sharing with us what and what we need to know concerning our the menopause concerning if we're going to be having our mother's menopause are you going to be having the same symptoms are you going to be having it the same way are you going to be having going through the experiences the way your mom you know experienced it that's what we're going to be looking at today and I'm really, really glad to be here with us. And if you're still just joining us, you can greet so that I can greet you and welcome you to this evening's broadcast. You're highly, highly, highly welcome, welcome, okay? All right, so coming to thinking of it as, 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 it, be, as, as it may be, if, we, if you're asking yourself that question, of course, we all know what menopause is. If you don't know, we're going to be sharing a bit of it. Are you dreading menopause? You know, some women are really, really afraid of menopause. They are wondering what is this menopause. And some people are like so, so scared. <laughs> Through this, um, how many years I've dealt with menopause, I found out that a lot of women are scared. Many people don't know about it. You know, some people have watched their mother's memory falter in their mid-50s due to changing hormonal level like for me you know sometimes in those days when my mom would say oh i forgot this i forgot this i'm like why is she forgetting something she just said now you know you know if you're you've been looking at um, some elderly women and then you recall what they've been going through maybe hot flashes you see them always fanning here and there you see a lot of women waking up you know if you stay with some elderly women you find out that some of them they just stay on the couch they sleep, they'll tell you, let me just get the sleep now because I don't know if I'll be able to sleep through the night. Have you heard some of them say that? And you look at them, you see someone maybe like today, you go back to the village after five years, you see that the chin is sagging, the skin wrinkled, everywhere looking, you're like, ah, this person is looking so old in such a short time. I don't know how many of us have experienced that. I particularly, you know, in fact, there was a time we went to the village and saw someone and then um, we didn't go back until uh, about six years and my husband was like what has happened to this person this is is, is this not my age babe? this person is looking so old. why is the skin like this why is this all like this why is this person looking i hope i'm not looking like that so let me just look at myself in the mirror <laughs> you know you see a lot of all this happening and you're wondering and you're skeptical and somehow a little afraid asking yourself is this how i'm looking you know you're not alone okay you're not alone and i would like us to also put in the comment section if you've seen this happening in fact there was a story i read sometime in whatsapp and um, a couple were traveling and they met a um, a friend old school friend like them and they won't say ah 
um, I don't know if you're the elder sister of so 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 and so. You two of you resemble so much, even though you're much older than that person should be. <laughs> and the person was like, but I'm the one. He said, oh, you're looking old. And I want to talk to him again and her and said, but you're looking old too. <laughs> Oh my goodness so you know at this age and at this period you see a lot of people having that i have you know not only observed my mom but i've also observed my aunties my daddy's sisters my mother's sisters and sometimes after having maybe like two three years you go back you're like ah, ah, what's happening to this person so if you two have observed some things i like you to put it on the comment section so we can discuss that okay your observation of people who are like 20 years older than you you know when you were a child and then you suddenly see that person and you're you're wondering all right so but you know sometimes hearing a mother's accounts of menopause can actually either create a self-fulfilling prophecy you know like some people would say um like there's this author of um women's body women's wisdom and the women of menopause there's you know that author christiana not not you know she said that hearing her mother's account of menopause created like a fulfilling prophecy for her because everything her mom said you know and was going through was exactly what happened to her but some women also that i asked told me that you know the best years of their life actually started after menopause and then therefore they looked forward to it hey nepa has struck is just waiting for me every night to do this okay but they're going to put on the other chair now very very soon <laughs> oh my goodness so <laughs> i suspected it's not go out they also put on the gen i suspected nepa is going to strike like this i already told them that um they should get ready to put on the gen for me all right i said it <laughs> okay so you know, some women that um, I spoke with said that because they heard from their mothers that uh, menopause was a very good period. Like, you know, if you go down my page last year, I treated a topic and, I, and that topic was the advantage of menopause. You know, it's not all negative, negative. There are also some advantages. You can um, try and um, watch that video to find out more. You know, then other women I interviewed said that their mothers told them some very worse things about menopause and those things were so terrifying to them. It's as if they were looking forward to those terrific periods and then they had such terrific periods also happening to them. So who you listen to is also very, very important during menopause. You know, so either way, your mother's menopause might be your own menopause or might not be your own menopause there are certain factors also that can make it not to be okay we're going to be looking later at genetics some studies that were done genet genetically and what um, they they found out the the results to be we're going to be looking at that also so you know um if you are predicting the future if one is looking at actually like um, predicting the future menopause actually is defined as the point in a woman's life when she has stopped menstruating for at least one year when she has stopped menstruating for at least one calendar year that is when a woman will be said to have entered her menopause period okay a woman enters her menopause period when she has not menstruated for one full year so the period of time leading to menopause like i always tell us and science have also said is called perimenopause okay that period is called perimenopause and during this period the women undergo some pretty drastic hormonal changes and may have irregular periods i have a book on 34 symptoms of menopause a lot of women will chat me and ask me is this part of the symptom of menopause is this one happening to me part of symptom of menopause i have a book and i call it the handbook or menopause is the 34 symptoms of menopause and natural remedies for it is actually a book every woman should have so you can chat me on my whatsapp i'm going to put my whatsapp number now on the screen so that you'll be able to get that book and be able to have it handy and you will need to be asking some questions it's something that you too can actually become you know like a guru in it and, and be saying it so my whatsapp number my whatsapp number i'm putting it on the uh, um, screen now on the comment section my whatsapp number 
is plus two three four plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two plus two three four seven zero three one five one one six four two all right so that's my comment session i'm going to pin it now i'm going to pin it now for us to have it pinned so you can actually um chat me if if you need that book um like i said because it's our month of menopause this month part of two weeks in this month and then part of next month it's going on one thousand naira discount is usually two thousand naira i'm doing half price for us hello willow good evening all the way from liberia you're welcome welcome grace Utibe. welcome amaka good evening pastor evening thank you for joining me deborah oh the lord help nigeria <laughs> the lord help nigeria my dear you see we were on psc and, and in this my village it is one every other day so if you have it today you will not have it tomorrow and then you now have it half day the next day you will not have it the next day they give us half day when they want to give us and they take it full day when they are taking it so like three days a week and i'm just coming in from portaco so i just told my uh, security man i said you know what once you see nepa do what they know how to do best <laughs> put on the generator for me god help nigeria in jesus name deborah amen hello abigail you're welcome hello oluchi you're welcome oh oluchi said thanks ma but mercy is coming twice in a month and no ovulation is it also a sign of menopause yes it could be a sign of menopause but you know there are other factors we need to look into so you can all you can chat me on my whatsapp number okay so i can discuss with you and then we pinpoint there are some questions i'm going to ask you which because it's not what i'm handling today i will not be able to go through it i'll ask you that questions and they will be able to pin if it's perimenopause um that you're going through okay one of the symptoms of perimenopause is irregular periods okay so whether it comes after some months or it's coming twice in a month or it's coming in drops they are all irregular periods and they are all symptoms of menopause hello abimbola abaje you're welcome to this evening broadcast hello cherilyn you're welcome cherilyn williams vivian chia chica you're welcome to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome to every one of us. We know Grace Utibi, you're welcome. Welcome, Amaka. All right, welcome, Olufi Sire, for long and short to this evening's broadcast. All right, welcome, welcome to every one of us. So I've put my WhatsApp number on the screen for you so that you'll be able to chat me if you need something privately or you need the products. I'm going to be showing us some of our beautiful. Oh, why are you falling off? I don't want to fall off. Our beautiful products for menopause. Okay, even if you fall in here, I have my supplement bags with me. <laughs> I don't know what fell, but I still have my supplement bags. Now I just came back. I think it's, it's this that fell. So I can even show us the real, real life. <laughs> Alright, okay. So check out my book on menopause. It's called Healthy Happier Menopause. It shows you how you're going to be healthy during menopause, how you're going to be happy during menopause, okay? But you know, most women start perimenopause somewhat between like 40, 45 years old up until 51. But remember last week we treated premature menopause and early menopause, okay? You can watch the videos, it won't be very far from you. So it generally takes around five years from the start of perimenopause for a woman to stop menstruating. So if you start having those irregular periods, having all those symptoms of perimenopause, it takes about five to seven years period before you would enter your real menopause period, okay? All right, so now if we're looking at the future, if we say, can we predict a future for menopause for a woman, genetic factors play a role in this timing, okay? If your mother and other close relatives like your sisters, your mother's sisters, that's your aunties, if they had an early or late menopause, you probably would. In fact, you find out that in a family, many times their period come about the same time. Like if I take when my mother was still menstruating, okay? About that period, she's having her period, I will have my own, my two sisters, will also have their own and in fact there was a period of time that i happened to stay with my my mom's sister and i found out that it was still around that period also so if your mother or your close relatives have early or late menopause you probably would 
but your environment, your lifestyle cho choices will also play a role. So that's now that variable that comes in. That's that another thing that could make it not to be exactly so. And that's the good thing about life. Okay, so if you have a negative part, there are some things you can do that can help you from that, you know, positive side. Like there's some families that they have premenstrual pain running in the family. You don't have to have it also with every member of your family. There are some lifestyle changes. There are some diet changes. There are some environmental factors that you can add in that can make you not to go through that. For example, you, must, you might have an earlier menopause. Even if your family members are having late menopause, if you are smoking or you live in a high altitude area, you can start menstruating or you can start your menopause earlier than your family members. So there are still some environmental factors that could make it not to be. But all things being equal, like we're going to be watching some of those environmental factors, some of those um, lifestyle changes, some of those, you know, Choices you can make that can make things not to be. And why am I talking about this? So that if yours is from a negative genetic background, you can add those factors so that it will make it better for you. Actually, researchers are currently studying a simple blood test that will predict when a woman will reach her menopause. That study is going on very, 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 very profusely at this period okay and then other blood tests also have been for a number of years but they are not really really credible in predicting when a woman will go through her menopause now you might ask why why is one so much interested in that there are some people who marry late so if you're married late you need to check your history to know when people enter menopause there's a guy that called me from france okay no from germany and he was really bothered because of the age of the wife. So I've been spending time talking with him, counseling him and the wife so that I'll give them a proper advice that can help them. So if you're married late, you need to be sure of your family history so that you will know what to do. It's not like now, if in your family history, they enter menopause at 47, 48 and you marry at 45 it's not the time to be waiting for two years to enjoy your husband before you start having children no 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 it will be fire on the mountain something has to be done very very drastically so because your mother had a difficult experience actually does not mean that you will necessarily have it because of this environmental factor because of these lifestyle changes because of these choices you know that we talk about a number of healthy daily habits may also help you to avoid some of the worst parts okay some of the worst parts some of the negative parts of menopause and perimenopause and we're going to be looking at some of those environmental changes we're going to be looking at some of those choices okay let me just welcome a few people who have joined us again hello hello welcome olufisa yo you're welcome welcome adetula ola wumi welcome to this evening's broadcast welcome caroline welcome where are you calling me from ajuli chuku you're welcome hajia ha, 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 hajia shiat you're welcome martina chin debere you're welcome imoko pat you're welcome all right, we are all highly welcome. So the first environmental factor, the first lifestyle change that could make you not go through that negative part of your genetic menopausal symptoms is exercise, okay? Regular exercise, at least 30 minutes a day, three times a week at least, if you could have it every day better, can actually reduce menopausal symptoms. In fact, they did a study in 2006 and then they found out that even just twice a week exercise program decrease severe symptoms you know in a quarter of women while the symptoms of those who did not take part in the exercise worsened just like twice a week program that they had so women who've had who've tried it themselves agree i agree you know those days i used to have sleep disorder um hot flushes i noticed that adding exercises 
you know, and all those morning stiffness here and there, adding exercises that actually help me. And again, remember I tell you that exercising releases dopamine in your, that hormone that is for joy, is for gladness, is for happiness in your system, and then you smile all the way through. So, uh, you know, um, getting physical activities can actually help combat weight gain, increase your bone des density. Remember that at this period, you're having... Um, loss of bone density okay and these are some of the symptoms of menopause so exercise is that factor that could make that genetic you know um lineage let me put it those who say you're my right, lineage not to be and then another thing is diet simple changing your diet may also suit some of your symptoms some of the menopausal symptoms okay anything that raises your blood sugar including chocolate sweets simple sugar interact with stress hormone sugar actually interacts with stress hormone and it rapidly fluctuates your oxygen level to make symptoms like hot flushes night sweats worse so if you're having hot flushes night sweats you need to check your sugar what are you eating and you know it's not just a matter of carrying sugar and putting in your tea check your labels i always tell us when you take something to eat check your labels. It's very, very important that you check your labels. You'll find out that some of those things you just buy by the way they have added sugar in them. So try eliminating pack foods that are packed with sugar as well as alcohol. Check some of those food cakes you're taking. Some of them you're just drinking alcohol without eating it. <laughs> and then caffeine. People who love coffee, not at this age, not at this your middle age that you're going to be packing coffee, 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 coffee. They also trigger hot flushes. Coffee, cafe, they trigger hot flushes, okay? Unhealthy habits also can also contribute to weight gain, all these things I've mentioned. And then that will make your menopausal symptoms worse. So you can no longer continue to drink or eat all those fruit cakes the way you want fast food, you know. If you do that, you increase, and when you increase menopausal symptoms like diabetes, arthritis, hot flashes, night disorder will come. So diet is very, very important. You know, some seeds, plants, like a nut, like um, plant proteins, if you eat them in moderation, they can reduce hot flashes and also boost your heart and bone health. These are researched work i'm not talking on my own they've been researched on in fact i recommend a variety of plant foods in addition to soy like we have our light ultra every woman here stop animal milk okay change to plant milk we have this our light ultra filled with more than 18 amino acids i didn't bring it out because i've always shown it here okay find it and get it that's what i have used to replace every form of milk you know that I would want to take animal protein I go on on plant protein and of course some of us that joined me last week Wednesday I taught us a menopause bar filled with nuts like flax seeds sesame seeds okay soy that you can make very very nutritious it's actually a menopause bar it can help reduce hot flushes and things like that so I recommend you add more plant protein okay in your food okay a diet that is heavy with plant food will help you especially also for people who are having this symptom of breast pain and them sore nipples okay hot flashes why because the hormones naturally found in these plants can act as an estrogen in your food they can you know remember i said but because you're reducing the estrogen level you need cytostrogen which is gotten from plants and some of these plants have mentioned that the things that can give you this cytostrogen. Also, some herbal supplements, okay? Like Multimaca, Multimaca, you know, uh, Vitalize Women, Vitalize Women, like Royal Jelly, okay? These three are super supplements that are very, very good for menopausal symptoms that can help you. Why am I saying this? In case your mom entered menopause early and you don't want it early you have to start some of these supplements early okay if you like when you're 35 that's why i'm talking about planning and you don't want to enter your menopause early start this supplement from like 30 35 so that you can have enough estrogen 
to see you through until you have all the babies you need to have. So these and other natural supplements, you know, menopause, um, natural uh, menopause remedies can help cut down on symptoms because they protect us from overstimulation by the rapidly changing level of our estrogen during menopause. And they can actually also help us to reduce all those symptoms and reduce the time at which you enter. There are still some other supplements like calcium, Infinite Feminine Complex, okay, Nature Mean, Nature Mean, where's my Nature Mean, Nature Mean, okay, Fields of Green, all these, Bee Pollen and the rest, they are all supplements that can help depending on what kind of symptoms you are having. Alright, I'm going to still look at genetic study that was done. I don't want to bore us with science, but I'm going to still look at that. Then another fourth thing you need, if you find out that the menopause of your mom is not what you want because genetically um, all things being equal that's what you're going to have but you say no 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 i don't want to have it what do i do those are the things we're looking at we've said number one exercise can help you not to have it number two diet can help you not to have it number three supplementation early supplementation can help you not to have it then the fourth thing is you need to reduce stress during menopause the body produces less estrogen and progesterone so and these two play a role in shortening your fuse and keeping you awake at night okay so in addition being in stressful situation can make those hormones fluctuation even worse so finding a few minutes to relax and unwind can help combat these mood changes. You need to add in some periods of rest to reduce, you know, stress in your day-to-day -day activities. And again, another thing, number five is meditation. Believe it or not, most hot flushes will go away with about just like 20 minutes meditation session a day. Find 40 minutes and take time to cool off naturally, you know. But most women will not do it. We walk until we drop. You start from the morning, you're doing house chores, you're preparing to run to work, you're coming back to make lunch, you're taking care of the children, you're finding out how this one is, you're going back to the other one. You just find that most women, there's, you can hardly find, I don't know if 50% of women have siesta or have time to just, you know, take off and rest. You need it. You need that time for rest. You need that time for, even if you won't sleep. Mm, I'm not saying you should go to bed in the afternoon. For those of us, that is like an abomination. But take off time. 20 minutes, 30 minutes. What I do sometimes, and, and one of my mentors will do, she will just put water in a bucket, just put her legs there and relax. She just puts her head down on the table, puts her legs there and she will just relax. Why water? Because she won't get out of that water to start going to pick this or that. Believe you me, sometimes I'll just lie down and say, let me stay for 10, 20 minutes. I'll remember something, I'll get up. And then I'll come back two minutes. I'll remember something. I'll make people just say, I'll like that too. Okay, but if you put that water there, and you know that getting up will soil you or soil whatever, you will remain there. So meditation helps. You know, it will help you to sleep through the night as well, especially if you have a time to meditate before you sleep off. Natural sleep remedies can also help. Like this trip I took, I knew I had very, very busy time. So the first night, as I just got into the hotel, not even in the night, it was morning flight, and then we had something to do in the afternoon. So by the time I got to the hotel around 3, I just made my hot blossom tea. And as I finished that, my blossom tea, in fact, this is the pack I took out of <laughs> to travel with. I left it on the table. I just because I didn't want to go with the pack. I just took out of it and then put it in my toilet bag and I went with it. So I just dropped it in on my office table before leaving. This blossom tea is a miracle sleep tea. It can arrest any form of insomnia. And I'm telling you from experience. Okay? It's a natural remedy for sleep. It has like 12 blossoms 12 um natural ingredients in fact is written here it has cinnamon it's, it has orange peels it has cloves it's it has blackberry leaf it, it has all spice it has fennel it has ginger it has cardamom it has aloe blossom it has um silvestri chamomile 
she mama see off nepa <laughs> don't mind them they are doing themselves <laughs> Anyway, so this my aloe blossom tea will help you to sleep very, very well, okay? Then number six, use it or lose it. Cognitive changes are common with age. If you don't use your brain, you will lose it. I'm telling you the truth. This is not the period to tell yourself you're winding, you're not going to be doing anything, okay? There was a study done in 2019 and they found that memory and learning take a direct hit leading to up to menopause as you're approaching menopause your memory is likely to drop dementia might set in because of the fluctuation in hormone level during perimenopause that's why this happens so starting to support yourself with supplements early enough as early as 35 years is absolutely important and one of the supplements i always and tell people to take from that early age is royal jelly now royal jelly is mo queen mother's food and that's what makes queen mother to be active to be very productive to be very agile and you know how long queen mother can live you can go and research it this is that food so if you want your memory sharp to remain sharp royal jelly is one supplement you should start early and if you didn't start it early start now it can help you okay it's never too late to start you can start it now okay you need to also embark on some kind of passionate and enjoyable things that will help you exercise your brains even at this age it's not a time to say you're retiring even if you're retiring with activities over activities don't retire with your brain find passionate hobbies enjoyable talents that you can use at this age that will make you exercise your brains and that's why for 2022 i'm raising 100 influencers i'm raising 100 global influencers women who will use their hobbies their passion their talents their you know things they love doing you know they say that if your job is what you love doing if your job is your hobby then it's no longer tasking it's no longer a job for you what i'm doing what you see me come out here to do i love it <laughs> i love research i love teaching i love i love it i just love it so for me i'm not working for me i'm enjoying myself and that's why i'm raising 100 global influencers who will use their own hobby your own hobby for you to use your own hobby to do what you love doing and then influence people, give value to people, touch lives globally and in doing that, make money into your pocket. Don't worry. Very soon, 15th will come again and some of us will be smiling. But you know me, I don't wait for 15th again because my company pays on the 15th. Every day, my alert rings came, came, came and I mean every day. And anytime I hear them, that but my ramp, oh, that's how my text message does. I'm happy. I look at it, I see money, I know how much my own is. So money is coming in. Come, I will teach you how you can use your hobby, your talent, your ability, that thing which you love doing, your passion, through our forever living products to touch lives all over the world and then make money while doing it and then exercise this brain we are talking about okay you put your brain to work it will also help to trigger parts of your brain that will falter during menopause okay all those brain parts that will begin to falter and begin to cause dementia if you put them into work now you'll be overcoming so take on new challenges okay learn new things come let me teach you skills Every day we are in class, yeah, enjoyable class. Nobody is marking our paper for us. You set your own target. You set your own goal. And you make sure you achieve your own goal and your own target by yourself. Okay? Alright. Then number seven, you need to get started early. In a perfect world, you know, we'll be preparing for menopause as early as our late things. But even starting to add like omega-3 in your food now starting to add omega-3 you know what i mean one competition with guinea i don't know if guinea is there guinea oh yeah 
it is time to take our omega 3. Omega 3 even starting early. You know, teenagers can take these children all the way from four years old can take their omega 3. Making omega 3 for your girl, your teenage girl, making it her normal supplement is a good way to start. Get started early. Okay? Starting with this omega 3 will to add it to the child as the child's normal supplement will wrap up you know um a lot of um things that she will need it will help her you know continue it will help her to be the best she could be and you know the good thing about it you can swallow it is very very nice it's swallowable for you can chew it me and guinea on our uh, game let me just check if guinea is here guinea see me <laughs> i'm chewing my own again the second for the day i took breakfast today i didn't take lunch really okay so I'm chewing my own. So I want to check if Guinea is there to establish the fact that I'm taking my omega 3. So this omega 3 is also very, very good. It's very, very good. It will help you to overcome some of these symptoms that we have been talking about and make sure that you are in line. All right. Hello. Welcome. Let me see. I can see a lot of people have joined. Vivian Chica, you're welcome. Emmanuel, oh, look at me, you're welcome. Willow said, I'm almost 52 years. My symptoms now are headache and joint pains. Willow, just chat me on my WhatsApp number and we'll be handling that, okay? Uh, favor, so, favor endurance, what's your show of the, the almond milk? Almond milk is good, it's a plant protein. Good evening, Chimek, Madu. Thomas says, I am now 42 and experiencing all these symptoms and really stressed. Please chat me. No matter where you're calling in from, I think you've told me and forgotten. You will still get help from me from there. Come on, Lafay, you're welcome. Ihoma Kari, you're welcome. Good evening, IJ, watching from Lagos. How are you? Eunice, Adele, watching from Ebado, you're welcome. Sylvia and Joko, good evening. For Lashade, how can you get what? Just chat me on my WhatsApp number, okay? And ask me what what you want to get and I'll help you. Hello Kate, Kate from Ghana. How are you, Kate? Yeah, Pastor Evelyn is one of our 100 influencers. Kate is also one of the 100 influencers in all the way from Ghana. Eunice Adeleye in Ibado is also one of the 100 influencers. See, Joma is also one of the 100 influencers in Lagos. I can see a lot of us here now. Hello, Fala Shade. How can you get one? Just chat me on my WhatsApp number. Let me know. All right. Um, hey, how do I pronounce your name? Fadomio Mutsa Daliwu. You are a teacher from South Africa. How am I? I'm very well. How are you? Miss Ambalogun, all the way from Kotonu. Miss Ambalogun is also one of my downlines in Kotonu. You're welcome. Hello, Rose Anne. Good evening. You want to contact me when and what time? Just chat me now. I'm going to answer you on my WhatsApp number that is pinned, okay? Once I'm through with this, I'm going to answer you. I'm loving my RTC. Thank you, Ginika, for this solution. I tell you, you've really done much for me. It's not true. Rosemary, royal jelly does not increase growth of fibroid. Though. It's not true at all. For last Shade Kazim, you are not late. You can watch the replay also. Where do I live? Go. I live in Lagos, Ibadan Expressway, Nigeria. <laughs> it's not Lagos. I stay in Lagos, Ibadan Expressway, Nigeria, Ibafo, precisely, okay? Hello, BSA from UK. Okay, Kate says she's fine. Sherilyn, you're always tired. Sherilyn, I have a solution for you. That actually helped me. I hope I have it here. It's very, very affordable. Pastor Evelyn is here. Pastor Evelyn can give you the testimony of deep poly. Pastor Evelyn, do you want to come on so I can bring you up? Pastor Evelyn will give you the testimony of deep poly. Be poly, Sherilyn, will make you not to be tired. It's very, very affordable. The time I did promo on B poly, buy two and get one free. Pastor Evelyn had a lot of testimonies for herself and every member of her family from this product that I'm holding. 
It's also very, very good for menopause, okay? And it's also very, very good for stamina. Actually, bee pollen is the food of the worker bee. I've given us the food of the royal for queen mother. This one is the food of the worker bee. So it gives them all that energy. They need to work and work very well, okay? So that's what it will do for you. So Sherilyn gets bee pollen, okay? Hello, Enora. You're welcome. Good evening, Alabi from Lola. Okay, so let's just uh, go through um, very soon. So I was saying you need to start early. Data from a study they did in 22, um, 2000, year 2000, shows that healthy habits are most effective if adopted early in life. You know, if you adopt healthy habits in life, early in life, they are going to help reduce menopausal symptoms like if you adopt exercise, good diet, supplementation, you will be on top four when you're approaching your perimenopause and menopause. And even if you didn't start early, start now. It will also help you. Then does mom know best? Okay, some people go to their moms and whatever they tell them, they feel is the final. When your mom tells you the story, you can also research and ask others. That's what I did, okay? And that's what could help you not to have your own mothers, okay? You know, these healthy habits have little to do with genetics, but they help. Many women learn also from their experiences. If you learn what your mom went through, you too will know how to go through your own, okay? So listen to your mom, listen to your mom's sister, hear what they are saying, but don't take the negative part. When there's a negative part in it, look for the solution for those negative parts. Don't just embrace them and say, ah, that's the end of life. No, no, no. For every problem, there are several solutions. So take the best solution. So we're going to be looking at a genetic study that was done, which will also show you why you need to check out some of these things. This study that was done focuses on identifying new variants associated with delayed age of menopause, okay? And if you're wondering why you entered menopause early or later, then other women than other women, the major issue, if nothing is done, you need to blame your mom. <laughs> And your mom will blame her mom, which is your grandma. And your grandma will blame her mom, which is your great grandma. <laughs> because it just came down. Alright, so that's because numerous studies have confirmed the role of genetics in determining a woman's menopausal age. You know, this study not only reconfirms the association, but additionally suggests a link to familial longevity all things being equal i mean all things being equal of course you know that all things are not equal on earth but if all things being equal whatever that happened to your mom genetically will come to you okay you know because numerous studies have confirmed the role of genetics in determining a woman's age at menopause the study not only reconfirms the association but additionally suggests a link to familial longevity the results these results i'm talking about you can go and check it out it's published in online today in menopause the journal of north american menopause um, society okay the north american menopause society the nams they've published this the age of menopause is clinically defined as one year after the first the final menstrual period that's an average of 52 years old so if after 52 you have not had your menopause that for one year you have not seen your period is called late menopause if you have it before 50 it's called early menopause however every thousands of women over or outperform these statistics by entering menopause either very late in life and some others very much more earlier in life okay so although menopause can occur as a result of various conditions such like I told us before, smoking, chemotherapy, elevated body mass, BMI, if your BMI is high, okay, that um, age generally is not uh, from traits even from your family history. But if your mother has experienced her menopause early, chances are the fact that the transition will also be early for you 
in your own life. It's going to be early for you. In fact, the researches also examine certain health impact of having an earlier or later menopause. I've discussed this with us, I think, last two weeks. There are some, some impacts, some health impacts, whether you're having it premature or whether you're having it late in life. They found out genetically that early menopause increase the risk of type 2 diabetes, okay, poor bone health, and increased risk of fractures. So if you have very premature menopause, early menopause, you need to watch your, your sugar level, pre-diabetes and diabetes, you need to watch it for arthritis, you also need to, need to watch it for bone fracture. And that's why, like I said, if you remember sometimes I told us that my, my, um, my uh, doctor told me um, that my gynae doctor told me that I must go on real good calcium. And the beautiful thing about our forever calcium is that it's both calcium and vitamin D. Many calcium don't come with vitamin D and you need vitamin D to be able to digest the calcium very well and not to have it in excess. And this calcium has it. So, okay, they've also found out that early menopause can have an advantage. It will decrease the risk of some types of um, cancer like ovarian cancer and breast cancer. So people who have late menopause are at a risk of ovarian cancer and breast cancer. Okay, so these are some of the things that were found that are associated with risk of homo-sensitive, homo you know, cancers. All right, so well, the study, they came out to say that they think that it's probably due to having a shorter lifetime exposure to high levels of sex hormone, which are at higher level while a woman is still menstruating, that caused some of these things, okay? So, new studies are still going on, but many more of the genetic cases of variability in the timing of menopause are still going on. So, they are going to be finding out quite a, a lot from this but whichever one like i told us that's why i started with the positive whether your mother is having early menopause or whether your whether your mother had early menopause and you are afraid of it because of um, some of the things i've mentioned that could come with early menopause like um, type 2 diabetes bone um, fractures um, poor bone density or late menopause maybe your mom had late menopause and you're afraid of some of the things that are associated with it like ovarian cancer or breast cancer remember that i've shared with you today eight things that can help you not to go through that eight things that can help you to have a stable menopause period and i said number one is exercise number two is your diet number three is supplementation start your supplementation early now let me tell us it's not because um my business is a supplement is the truth the truth is that you need supplements at this age you need it because the food we eat is not giving us the right nutrients because of the soil where they are planted because of the processes that go through them and because of even how we cook but take for example, let me um, get my supplement from my, my fields of green, okay? I travel with my fields of green. Where's my head? Okay, so this is my fields of green from my bottle. Look at how green it is. Look at how green this fields of green is. Now, this fields of green was processed in the best environment and it was processed using at least 10 vegetables right in my bag again i have my super green if i open this super green which i'm going to do before you now this super green has over 22 fruits and vegetables made from very serene environment natural green i'm going to pour my fruits of green into my bottle now for you to see so this is my super green can you watch how green it is? How green? Very, very green. No fire went through this. So why? It is still in its very natural form. When you take your ogo, only very few of us will do our 
smoothie with our ogo you will cook it by the time you cook it you have cooked off all the nutrients okay so this is my super green can you see how green and this is my field of green i'm taking it natural so having this supplement will give your body that natural quality the natural nutrients that your body would need that's why i talk about supplementation no processing not talking about fertilizer not talking about if you're taking the right ones okay so that's why you need supplements remember what i said you need this thing so that you will not have those negative things that are coming from either early menopause premature menopause or late menopause cheers So I said number three, supplementation. And then I said number four, reduce stress. Number five, you need to add meditation. Number six, use your brain. You need to use your brain at this early age, okay? You lose, use it now or you lose it. Use or lose. <laughs> and then I talked about getting started early. All these lifestyle changes we are talking about, you need to start them early, okay? And then if you listen to your mom, it's the negative part use the remaining seven that we have discussed to make it a positive side okay and remember in using your brain join my hundred influencers my hundred global influencers club is still ongoing so that you'll be able to be one of those people who will use it to influence the world who will use your passion use your hobbies use your talent use skills that you can learn now to improve other people's life and improving other people's life also improve your own life and have the best that you can get so i'm going to take our questions now and then we call it a day remember one hour not more than one hour that's what we have given ourselves all right so hello rosabeth gold you're welcome hello alabifu lola good evening enoro Gedi, good evening can we talk on your WhatsApp? My yes, you can call me on WhatsApp. No problem. I answer my WhatsApp. Okay. If I'm not answering you, I'll tell you that I'm busy, and then we can schedule where we can talk. How much is be polling? Be polling. I don't call my prizes on Facebook because people are calling in from several parts of Nigeria. But you can get your be polling again. Buy two, get one free. Okay. Your fields of green, buy two, get one free. But other menopausal um, um, supplements are going on 20% discount. But these two, I can still give you because you really need them. These two alone, we do a lot, especially for those who are wanting stable supplements they can take. I want you to take, buy to get one free, buy to get one free. They are very, very affordable. These are the two. I think these are the two cheapest supplements that I have. I'm making it available for everyone. Remember that we have um, Mondays that we call it our Majority Monday. So today again is our Majority Monday. That Majority Monday, if you buy two of these, you get one free. Poly, be poly. Buy two, be poly, get one free. Buy two, feel so green, get one free. Take these two supplements for three months. Come back here and give me your testimony. I tell you, your lives will change, okay? All right, so just chat me on my WhatsApp number because if you're in UK, it's not the same. I'll give you in pounds. If you're in US, I'll give you in dollars. If you're in Nigeria, I'll give you in Naira. Hello, Grace, you're welcome. Pastor Ibley say, can you put fuel of green in water and drink? And if yes, how many? You can put it in water and drink, oh. You can put your fields of green. You can actually take like up to four fields of green at a time. If you can melt in water and you love it, you can put it. You can put like four at a time and drink. Okay. Hello, Franklin Donaldson. Hello, Victoria Dixie. You're welcome. Chibu Zoa Dachupu, how are you? Favor Endurance, the well said, man, that was what happened to me. I started taking supplements when I started experiencing this so-called perimenopause. And you would have experienced some changes, okay? 
Caroline say exercise, diet, supplement, less stressful life. Please, can we restate the remaining four? Okay, because you typed it here. Let me tell you so that you'll be able to type it again, okay? Um, that's favor, favor, let me tell you here so that you can um, say them again. So I said number one, the first thing that you need is exercise. And then I said number two is your diet. And then I say number three is supplementation. You need supplementation. Don't run away from it. If you don't have money, if your budget is tight, get one, buy two, get one free. Buy two, get one free. Get these ones and start with them, okay? Then number four is reducing stress. Number five is meditation. Bring out time every day for meditation. Staying alone, even if it's 20 minutes, two times a day is very important then number six use your brain or you lose it so join the 100 influencers club so that you'll be able to use your brain at this age then number seven get started early all these change lifestyle changes we're talking about all these um you know environmental factors that you can change yourself that will help you not to have your own mother's menopause those negative things about your mom Start them early. And then I said number eight, get what you can from your mom, sister. Use the environmental factors on them to remove the negative parts and also boost the positive parts of your mother's own menopause. Thank you all for joining me. I really, really appreciate all of you that keep coming on my fans. I really love you. And again, I still have my promo on my raffle tickets that are going on. Incidentally, I have just one booklet remaining, and I've really, really done so many. So, if you buy up to 25,000 products and I have not given it to you, if you bought like from April throughout this April and I've not given you, chat me. You still have opportunity. I have a few pages left in this my ticket, okay? So, you still have opportunity to buy. Okay, and make sure you're getting your discount every 25. If you buy from 25,000, I give you one ticket. Okay, yeah. Um, Florence, remind me, Florence. And I don't know if you're here because you, you, Florence joined the 100 influencers club, so she needs like three tickets from here. I shouldn't forget before it finishes. So. <laughs> Florence, please remind me today. In fact, once I finish, I have to write out your whole ticket. So we have the raffle draw coming up next month, May. And you could win um, 1 million, you could win 1 million, 500,000 or 200,000. And I've been praying that one of you, my fans in Aging with Grace, will be the winner. One, two, three, four of you will be the winner. All right, okay. You want my WhatsApp number? I thought I had pinned my WhatsApp number. Let me find it and find out what happened. I had pinned it too. Is it not pinned? Okay, my WhatsApp number once again. Let me put it. I can't find it. My WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is plus two three four plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two. Plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two and I'll pin it and then we call it a day today. All right, so it's pinned now. You can see my WhatsApp number pinned and we call it a day today. All right, thank you, Ezima, for thanking me. God bless you all. Thanks for joining me. See you on Wednesday. On Wednesday, we're going to be looking at a menopause juice, okay. I'm going to show you a simple juice you can make that can help you when you're going through menopause, okay? If you're having some of those night flushes and some of those symptoms, a simple juice that can help you. So join me on Wednesday, 9 a.m., so we can go through and make it. I'll try to put the recipe for you tomorrow when I'm sharing the handbills so that you can buy them, okay? And then maybe I have to post early. Thank you all. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the love. I really appreciate. God bless you. We see you all. Bye. See you on Wednesday.